Hey all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. My name is Shivalika and you can search my channel easily on YouTube by just typing my name. Uh, you Most likely the first channel that comes up will be mine. I recently changed it. Uh, yeah, now that was one of the suggestions from one of you and I also found it good. So I changed it and that makes it unique anyways that was a little update uh, second thing uh, these are all the playlists or the courses which you can see here and i wouldn't uh, say much but please 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 uh, take out time and do explore at least four to five videos from each of the playlist and some playlists don't even have four to five videos because they are fairly new like these two playlists they are new and uh, these uh, playlists have i think 20 20 20 plus videos not sure so you can check them out and each and every video has the documentation in the pinned comment so you are end to end covered there is implementation testing and everything shown so just check it out okay and today uh, so let's get back to today's video today i am going to begin a ui builder playlist so the things which we are going to cover today firstly is uh, what is a ui builder uh, you would see the questions and the content also flashing on the screen somewhere and so you can just pay attention to the video uh, so what is ui builder so ui builder is as the name says it's an interface builder okay so it's a web interface web user interface builder in service now which allows you to create experiences or interfaces for users and also in a responsive format i mean why ui builder so why UI Builder? Uh, first of all, the answer, I would break it down into two parts. Firstly is from my uh, personal experience. The reason I find UI Builder very fascinating is if you have ever worked on the designing part, like if you have uh, worked as UI UX designer, uh, so you know that we have uh, front end, we have back end, and then uh, we have to, so there are different people working on both of these things, and then we have to coagulate and we have to test it for the final output. So uh, it's uh, too huge on uh, means in general, but ServiceNow has brought both the things front end and back end together in an encapsulated format in the form of UI Builder, and that for me makes it very fascinating. Means UI Builder not only allows you to and decide how your web page is gonna look means web page or your experience whatever you can say it in terms of service now how your interface or your experience is gonna look you can also decide how to make it responsive means how are users going to interact with it how it is uh, you know <clears throat> um, uh, it will respond to different clicks so it's uh, it's a combination of both the front end and back end at the same place and it's extremely extremely user friendly so yeah that is the reason why ui builder now uh, let's proceed uh, uh, to the topics so apart from these two intro things i today we will basically cover a brief introduction of the ui builder interface how to navigate there i will introduce each and every element which you see on the ui builder interface page and we will also create an experience and i'll show you means basically it's on the go things the more you see the more you get to know it cannot be expressed in one line so let's begin uh, so for ui builder you have to type ui builder in the left navigation and under uh, now experience framework the module that comes in is ui builder so you have to click on here one thing i forgot to mention personally reason i gave uh, one the professional reason is ui builder is a good skill set so why not it doesn't need any other reason to be incorporated as a playlist so yeah so this is uh, your ui builder interface or home page you can say or the landing page where you will arrive after you have clicked on the ui builder from left navigation okay so as you can see here also uh, here also it is given home so this is basically your landing page so i will be introducing every element to you here starting from here uh, this is just home icon this is ui builder like how you see it here this is your home icon and when you click on this you return back to the landing page similarly it is here you click on this and you will return to the home page or the landing page of your ui builder and this is your application scope um, that's very much visible this is what's new so this 
contain some of the announcements from service now side this is help and guidance as you can see and this is for changing the theme it is having light and dark options i am in light theme you can also switch to dark theme whatever you like and now first bar is over second is here you have home uh, which is this home page uh, i will introduce every element gradually this is uh, recent so recent has uh, the list of all the recently visited experiences pages and variants so on so forth in the list format here by default you can also change it to card format uh, from here okay so it will be visible to you in the card format uh this is the list of experiences again uh, we have the options to view it as list format and card format here so and this is the search for experiences this is page collections again in the list format and card format controllers and presets in the same list format and card format now what is experience what is page collection what is controller and what is preset we will gradually be seeing in the upcoming sessions experience we will see today only in the later part of the video so <clears throat> yeah so let's uh, in the home page and this is the create button when you click on this you have the options to create experience page collection controller and preset which are the different elements in the ui builder yeah and then uh, recently opened it shows you five uh, recently opened uh, in the you know recently opened pages or experiences in the card format here like service now is here similarly if there is more than one so at max it will show you five here and if you want to see uh, more than that then you have to click on view more and you will go to the recent tab and it will show you in the list format or card format whatever you choose and this is again just a banner and then uh, uh, downloading and edit tools and then this is create new which is same as the button here and all of them have the documentation suffixed to it so you can explore it these are getting started it has some of the videos and tutorials from again from service now side so that was a, a brief introduction of the whole of the ui builder interface and now let's begin with the experience so first of all uh, we'll create experience for that you have to click on create and you have to click on experience here so here uh, this uh uh you know box will pop up there you have to give the name of the experience you can give any name you want i am again uh, giving my channel name and you can see from here url path has been auto populated so i will let it be like that appshell ui here i am selecting book space appshell before going ahead i'll just introduce to you uh, what is appshell so appshell is a kind of a wrapper of contents like i told you it brings together the front end and back end things to you okay so whatever type of appshell you choose here that particular appshell so front end and back end uh, you know layouts and components and all that it will bring to you okay so since i have chosen workspace so it will give me all the workspace related uh, components and layouts and all the things now components and layouts and all the things we will uh, i will introduce it to you tomorrow for now you can just understand that the appshell uh, brings to you the wrapper content okay means wrapper means it brings together the front end and back end whatever things are available at one place okay landing page again i am leaving it as it is for now uh tomorrow uh, or in the next whenever the next video is premiered then we will cover that part now roles roles i will give today so uh, by default canvas user role is attached here you can either let it be or you can uh, remove it and you can add your required role so i am adding itil here because yeah that's the common role and i am clicking on create so this will actually create acl uh, record this role will actually create acl record and this question i had seen in the community uh, means uh, i think in the community or in groups also uh, whatsapp community and service now community i uh, had seen this question there and the person was telling where they can change the roles so acl is the answer and anyways we will get to change the role in the experience settings also which again we will see for now i am just adding itil role and i am clicking on create and uh, i am showing you the acl so you can see here open access control list so you can click on this and um, it takes some time so you have to refresh the page it's 
may be not immediately created yes so you have to refresh the page and it's created after 2 to 3 seconds as you saw so you can see it has taken uh, now my uh, page url basically it has taken out the backend name allow if operation is read and type is ux root so this is the acl which is created uh, if whatever role you have given in your experience for that and you click on this and then here you can see i didn't remove the canvas user role so that is your nitils here right so um, <clears throat> And towards the end, I will also give three MCQs uh, for this and I'll show means three MCQs related to whatever we have covered today towards the end of the video. And uh, you can write uh, the answers for that in the comment section again. So yeah. So you can see here, this is my experience page. As you can see here, it is coming experience. And here we have view experience settings, which we will do now. So this is our URL path, okay, and this is the application is scope, this is the app shell, and this is the role, this is the uh, fix, uh, find and fix issues, I am letting it be, this is the pages and variants. So for now what I will do, I will just click on view experience settings and I will show you some things. So in this view experience settings, uh, you can see here, this is the name of the experience which I had given uh, while creating it, this is the URL. Landing page that time I had not given anything so you can see it's blank here and again I will let it be. Roles you can see uh, here it is coming. So that only I was telling that even if you don't know uh, how to search the ACL for your particular experience and modify the roles, you can also search it by going to view experience settings from your experience itself and from the roles. You can also directly search from here. So open access control roles, if you click on this, then also you will be redirected to the same page. So even if uh, you don't know uh, where to check the ACL for your uh, current experience, you can also click on view experience settings and you can go or you can search it means like I said. And then uh, we have branding and theming. We have site navigation. These all things we will uh, see in, um, you know, later part also means when we have created pages. So this I wanted to say about the experience settings and that is it for the today's video uh, and I hope you learned a lot and if you found it engaging in any format and learning in any format, please, please, please uh, like, share and subscribe. So uh, before ending this video, I would like to give a quick recap of what we did today. So it was day one of UI Builder and we learned uh, what is UI Builder, why uh, UI Builder and then uh, what is app shell and then how to land it uh, how to go to UI Builder from left navigation. I introduced to you the whole interface of the UI Builder homepage or landing page. We also created an we also created an experience and uh, we learned the uh, how the roles is allotted to the experience, the ACL related to it, UX root type ACL operation is read name it contains the name of the ACL contains your experience name and how to modify it, how to go to view experience settings, what are the different you know elements all that we covered today and in the next uh, uh, upcoming videos I think two or so videos uh, we will be covering uh, the layouts and components of which will be available uh, to us different layouts and components we will explore in upcoming videos so that is it from my end thank you so much bye bye